हेलो हाय मिस्टर गुड गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू अर्लीन फाइन थिंग्स यू गुड गुड व्हाट डिड यू डू टुडे आह आई डिड अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स ओके इन योर हाउस और आउट ऑफ इट नो इन माय हाउस ओके डू यू हैव चिल्ड्रन no i didn't okay and i don't <laughs> okay all right so who lives with you uh my mom my dad and i had two sisters two little sisters okay how old are your sisters uh the second had uh 18 and the little little had uh 15 15. Uh-huh. So the youngest is 15 and the second one is 18. Right. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. All right. And who's the other person on the other line, señorita? Amalba. Hello. How are you? Fine. How was your weekend? Um busy all the time i'm busy all right it's supposed to be in home uh -huh. mm, much better but not in my case i have a lot of work all right well that's good i guess <laughs> <laughs> yeah because like like in my case i'm working less than half I'm working only like 30% of what I'm usually doing. So uh, 30%. 30%. But, um, are you happy? I am. I am, but I'm not. Because, you know, when, when they declared this emergency, I was telling people that I was waiting for Semana Santa. Like it was, you know, I, I really wanted Semana Santa to come. Um, but now it's a little bit too much, I guess. Yes, I think so. Yeah, especially because of the side from the money. It's like, you know, you have to pay money. Not so good. Uh, uh, you have to pay bills every month. Yeah, it's not so good if you, if you work only half time, right? Right. In my case, it, it's okay if I have a lot of work. Because I like, I like to work. Uh huh. In my home, we are only my husband and I. Okay. So I have a lot of free time. Okay. If I'm not, if I'm not working. All right. Good, good. All right. So everybody, welcome back. Welcome again. Today is May 4th. Yeah. Today is May 4th. What was yesterday? Thursday. Uh, what was yesterday? May 3rd. May 3rd. May 3rd. And what was Saturday? Uh -huh. May 2nd, I guess. Yes, and Friday? May 1st. May 1st. And what do we celebrate May 1st? Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. Now, in El Salvador, how do people usually celebrate? Well, actually, it's a holiday. What is it? Holiday. It's holiday for all the employees for our companies. Okay, and the ones that are free, what do they usually do? Do they march? Do they? Uh, I don't know. What do they do? We usually go to dish. What is it? Yes. 
We uh, usually go to the beach. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Since it's a holiday, Salvadorians usually go to the beach. So mothers, they march. They protest. But, anyways, um, let's talk a little bit about what we did on Thursday. Do you remember the activities we did on Thursday? Mm -hmm. Check your notes. What did we do on Thursday? I remember we did it. Uh, the how to use used to yes used to what is the function of used to anybody is is when you to use? want to oh. to talk about the when was your talking Okay, so you're talking about past tense. Yeah. All right. We used Arlen? to use used to. Uh huh. When we was to talk about action that we used to do, but now we don't do it. Okay. Fine. Good. Yeah. Usually, uh, when we use used to is to talk, talk about actions that you did in the past but you don't do anymore or vice versa things that you didn't do in the past but now you do so that's how we uh that's how people use used to to talk about past events now is there any difference between positives and negatives Anybody? 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 Uh, what's in, what's in is you need to put the EV uh -huh. to the end. You used to. Okay. For when positive. you when you uh, uh, use uh, or talking about the the a negative ne negative form you need to just did it okay good good all right what if it's a question what is the form to make a question with used to the verb not oh. yes and i remember when you need to put uh, the auxiliary deal to the beginning. Okay. And the and the and the used to is a uh, is is normal when without you ed and the bar is in, in normal. Okay. When, basic form. Basic form. Uh -huh. All right. Good. So yes, when you're making a question. Um, did you used to live in Soyapango? Did you used to work in La Constancia? Did you used to, I don't know, did you used to travel by bus? So whenever you're making the question, you use did you and used to stays without D. And you only uh, apply U-S-E, used to, used to. Okay, um, any other questions or any comments you may have about used to? But the pronunciation is basically the same, right? If yes. You use, you see it in, the, in a question or in a negative or positive form, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I can say, well, I used to live in Lourdes uh, or I didn't used to travel by bus. Pronunciation basically is the same. Any other questions or comments? No? Not to turn. All right. So um, 
I'm going to assign you to work in pairs. Um, you guys are going to talk about the things you did Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and today. And tell the person you're speaking with how you have been practicing your English. Is it clear? Is it yes. clear? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. All right, so I'm going to assign you uh, to be working in pairs. You just talk about the different things you did on the weekend. Uh, um, let me find out this speaker. Breakout room, 17. A good number. All right. Here we go. Did you tell me? How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Uh, I um, acabo de entrar. I <laughs> so just I, got in. Yes, I just got in, so um, I'm lost. Okay, Elizabeth will explain to you what we're doing. Okay. Elizabeth? Yes. Okay, can you explain uh, to Jesse what we're doing? No. Uh, <laughs> al revés. Jesse, I need Jesse to explain me. Oh, okay, okay. So, Jesse, can you explain to okay. Elizabeth? <laughs> okay, the teacher says we have to talk about what did uh, Friday, Sunday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, and now. Yes. Baleadas. But I used to live in... Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> You don't like paliadas? I live there, but I don't like the, the food <laughs> to Honduras. I prefer the food in Salvador. Yeah, I think it's much better too, but, but baleadas are so good. I really love them. <laughs> I went to shopping at the market. Okay. <laughs> it's difficult to shopping today. <laughs> it was crowded every, every day, every day on weekend. Yeah, all the Fridays. Okay. Uh, how often do the... Okay. What did you use to watch on TV? I used to watch uh, Netflix. <laughs> yeah, so we have a compromise ahora. Ah. No, um... Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good, how was your day? Uh, so, so. <laughs> okay. How far, what's the distance from your house to your work, Elizabeth? Uh, I'm not working right now. I work for myself. Um, Independent. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. And Maria Elena, what about you? Um, fine. Um, my job and my house. Uh-huh. Uh, um, two hours. From your house to your office? Yes. What, but where? I don't work today. It's homework. I am homework. Okay. Uh, and, and where do you live, Maria Elena? Zacatecoluca City. Okay. My job is in Salvador. 
Oh my goodness. What part of San Salvador? Um, between uh, Galerias and Puente Beethoven. Yes. So you travel every day when you're working? Every day, yes. And what are your days off? Today, I mean, what? Sorry, what, I don't what, hear. what are your days off? Mm, seven. My, my, mi entrada al trabajo? I go in. Uh -huh. My go, I go in um, seven, eight, uh, seven o'clock. Okay. So what time do you wake up? Four o'clock. Four o'clock. So, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, wake, I wake up um, sometimes at three o'clock uh, a.m. But three o'clock. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> That's early. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my job is um, travel in Hayaque City. Uh -huh. uh, San Salvador, Hayaque City. Um, I, uh, uh, es donde me tengo que levantar más temprano. Okay, so when you go to Hayaque, you wake up earlier. Yeah. All right. Okay, and, and what's the name of the place where you work? Sorry? What's the name of the place where you work? My name. The, the, the place, the name ah, of the, the place. place. Uh, uh, Foundation Education and Cooperation. Oh, okay. Good. good. Educo. All right. Good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Let me uh -huh. get back to someone else. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello. Hello teacher. Are you practicing or did you finish already? We finished. All right, let's move back to the main session. Okay. Did you finish practicing? I think yes, so. we finished. All right. Yes. Um, how far have you worked in the platform? How much done. have you worked in the platform? I finished the unit three. You finished unit three? Me too. Yes. Okay. Um, and I do the exam. Okay, good. And what was the score? <laughs> My score oh. was on... <laughs> La plataforma tiene errores, ¿verdad? Uh, what? Now, that, now that you mentioned that, sometimes when you give an answer, sometimes the punctuation is going yeah. to give you a mistake. So you have but to make I sure. Have, uh -huh. yes. I have a problem. And um, I uh, sí, lo, 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 lo dije, lo, lo, se lo comenté. A lo, uh -huh. que en, en, la, en la última pregunta de la sección 4, eh, está todo correctamente porque es una pregunta de lección múltiple. Right. Entonces, cuando tú pones los pasos en orden, pues siempre te sale mal. Aunque... O sea, la recalqué mil veces porque quería un puntaje perfecto. Ok. Well, may, 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 maybe uh, that's the case too. The, the platform has mistakes. Yeah, yeah. I, I got wrong and uh, like two questions. Ok. Any, anybody else? Benjamin? 
Yes, I am in the section four. Simple section past four. In, uh, simple past versus present perfect. Okay. In the, I guess the video. Okay, you watch the yes. video? Uh, uh, not yet, but I'm going to start today. All right, good. Anybody else? Yeah, I was to the the fourth section in uh -huh. the in the video the, the past uh, the simple past versus present perfect. Uh, I I I I remember this this is this, this information. Thing. Yeah, because I I was a study before, but. But it's very, it's very good to, to remember. Yes. Yeah. Coach, so, I have a, I have a question. Yes, sir. Sorry. So, uh, I will make you a question. At the end of the course, in this month, we are going to take a proof to to pass the, the course for okay. the next month. Okay. You need to have eighty percent of all the activities completed in the platform. If you have okay. less than 80, you cannot be promoted to the next level. So automatically, the system is going to, to put me the next course yes. for the next month? Yes. Ah, okay, I got it. And, and the platform is going to tell you what percentage you have in the a, a, according to the work you have done okay so you need to to do the inscription again right every good question every month you have to do the same process the same okay. process again and again and again and again uh oh. because every month is is, is a new month Okay. Uh, I have I have a question about the yes. Yes, about the, the the and on the video, uh, some video uh, uh, appears uh, a note. Yes. Down is necessary put information in, in that, that note or, or not or that I can do is, that the is, exercise. That is optional. That is optional. Okay. Yes. Because uh, I, I did in the, the, the exercise in my in my notebook. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So that, that, I, I want to, to know that. Yeah. Those sections are optional, and I would suggest that you do it so you expose yourself as much as possible to the language. Okay. Okay. I yes. will do that. Sure. Any other questions or comments? No? No, no, sir. All right, so let's go to, um, let me share this with you. Share. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Do you see the screen? Mm -hmm. Do you see the yeah. image? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We do. We do. yes. All right. Yes, we do. All right. What's the name of the topic? Evaluation. Adjective and nouns. Okay. Evaluations and comparisons. And we're going to do evaluations and comparisons by using adjectives and nouns as well. So evaluations with adjectives. Uh, can I have a volunteer to read the first two examples? Me. Yes, please. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets. Okay, good. So apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets. Next, uh, next two sentences. Another volunteer, please. Okay, me. Yes. 
houses aren't as convenient as apartment. Houses are just as convenient as apartment. All right. So there you're using, a, thank you, you're using a different structure to compare two different things. And then you're using as convenient as apartments and houses are just as convenient as apartments. So the information can be positive, it can be negative, uh, or you're using as convenient as apartments. Now we go to the next set, evaluations with nouns. May I have another volunteer to read? Yes, please. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Uh -huh. Houses cost too much money. All right, thank you. So there you have it. When you're evaluating uh, things with nouns, this is the regular form, the regular sentence we use to uh, send evaluations. And may I have one last volunteer to read the last two? Me, teacher. Yes, please, Jesse. Apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. All right, good, thank you. So as you can see, as many rooms as, as much privacy as. Do you live in a house or do you live in an apartment? In a house. I, in a house. <laughs> okay. Now, have you ever had the experience to live in an apartment? No, never. never? Yes, teacher. Me, me, yes. Okay, I have too. Uh, a couple of years ago, my mom had an apartment, and when I was single, I, I lived in that place. Now I live in a house, but I can see the differences between the two places. So I can say that apartments don't have enough parking spaces as houses do. Or houses, they cost way too much more money. So you're comparing houses with apartments. Now, can you give me a sentence comparing sentence uh, comparing houses and apartments? Anybody? Um. The ones that have lived in houses and apartments as well. A difference. Uh, yes, uh, the differences between uh, apartment and houses. Anybody? What What for, can you for, say? Uh huh. For me, the houses are more private. Okay. Sure. Houses are more private than apartments. Good. Yeah. I, I also think the same thing. I think that apartments are fresher than houses because they are in the air. Yeah, that's true. Okay. What is more expensive, houses or apartments? Houses. Houses, houses are expensive. Yeah. Both are expensive. Yeah, both are expensive. It depends where you are. Yeah, you know, like Colonia Escalón, nowadays they have <laughs> towers. They have towers. Yes. And those towers, they have apartments, and each apartment goes up to a thousand dollars a month. A thousand dollars. And you can also get a house, you know, kind of nice and everything for less money. Yeah. So it depends Pero where you are. Yes. An apartment is faster to clean than a house. Yes. <laughs> yes. <I> it's, <laughs> it's faster to clean an apartment than a house. I completely agree. <laughs> yes. Anybody else wants to give it a try? Wants to give an example? Maybe I. Yes. Uh, the houses are more convenient than the apartment because the houses are are biggest. Sure, sure. Houses are more convenient. Yep. Yeah, because uh, if you are part of a big family, 
It's not convenient uh, living in an apartment. Right, right. In this yeah. time, it's much better to live in a house. Uh, one more time. In this quarantine time, uh -huh. it's much better to be in a house that that in an apartment because of the space. Right, right. You don't yeah. have, you don't have a, a yard, for example, in an apartment. Uh huh. Exactly. Yes, I completely you get stressed agree with easily. you. Yeah, you get more stressed. Yes. Right. And so imagine you're living in a small apartment where everybody goes home at night, but now with this quarantine, everybody needs to be in the apartment all day. So everybody sees each other. The space is reduced. So you might get a little bit frustrated at times. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anybody else wants to give it a, 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 a sentence? Uh, apartments don't have enough garden space. Okay, good. Sure. Apartments don't have uh, enough garden space. That's for sure. Anybody else? No? All right. So uh, I'm going to show you a list. Yes. Right, let me see this here, share, adjectives, let's see. Okay, do you see uh, the list? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. All right, let yes. me see if I have this image. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, I saw I had taken it's right here. Share, what's up? 8 to 9 p.m., what are you guys? Right here. All right. Did you receive the image? No, not yet. No, yet. Not yeah, yet. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. So uh, I just sent you the image to the WhatsApp group so you guys can use this vocabulary to compare apartments with houses, uh, which is something that we use on a, on a real conversation, not necessarily uh, houses and apartments, but also cars, uh, countries, uh, you, you, you name it. So we have comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, bright, Quiet, safe, small, and spacious. Are there any questions with this vocabulary? No, I don't. All right, anybody else? Mm, teacher. All right, okay. All right. so uh, please use this vocabulary. I'm going to assign you again to work in pairs. Uh, so let me, let me break out the rooms. Here we go.
better for a big family. Yes, I think so. Meaning that you have a house in in the out the city. Okay. The next one is van. Uh, an apart apartment are are in safe. I think with the tremors or or something like that. I think yeah. the house is, is more uh, silly. Yes, <laughs> I I have a house in uh -huh. Colón and I live in the Escalón. <laughs> so my my apartment oh. is expensive <laughs> than my house. Yeah. Where in Colón is your it's house? Sorry? Maybe it's your Again? neighbor. Where in Colón is your house? Uh, in Las Jacarandas. Oh, okay. Good. I don't know. <laughs> Jacarandas is a nice place. Uh, yes, it is. It is, but it's, it's how, how do you say, it? muy lejos? Along? Too far. Too far. Yes. Too far. It's yes. too far. Okay. <laughs> yes, I live in San Vicente, so it's too far. To... Uh, <laughs> I don't know there either. Apartments <laughs> now are very modern. That yes. house. Sometimes I I think so. It depends on um in which place it is. Yes. So, uh, the house, uh, depending, do you live uh, in Arizona, uh, very dangerous? Yeah. Yes, I agree with you. There are, uh, there are houses in uh, dangerous places. Mm -hmm but they are cheaper than than a house um than a house small but in a very good place or yeah. yes right neighborhood i mean i like a a big house because they it's very comfortable Comfortable, comfortable and comfortable and safe. Do you live in, in a house like that? Yes, I live in a house, but I visit with my friend in an apartment. And when, and what do you think about it? Mm. I really love it. <laughs> love the apartment of your friend? I love, yes, I love because it's, it's um, huge, but it's very expensive. Really? Yes. In which neighborhood they have, an, they have their apartment? Around Estadio Cuscatlán. Oh, that's a very yes. good. Yes, it's very modern. But yeah. noise will be a problem, right? Because it's close to no, the no, stadium. No, it's very quiet in the set. Sentences is not correct, but. <laughs> <laughs> Because my family is very nice, but uh, How I don't know. How many brothers do you have or sisters? I had two, two little sisters. I'm the biggest. Ah, okay. Mm. You're the older. Yeah. Nice. But it's a small family. It's five. Yeah, right? we had. Uh, the truth is, we are six. Because Sweet. Yes, <laughs> yes, the children. Petty, petty kid. It's the concept. 
Quiero ver. Perico. La, eh, periquit. Oh, no. I don't have any idea how to say that. Catalnica. <laughs> the teacher is here. Teacher, yeah, yeah. how do you say Catalnica in English? <laughs> I have no idea. It's a periquit. It's a periquit, no? Um, I don't so. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> What, it, okay. it, who, who has one? Me. What, what color is it? Green. And she has uh, a little of orange uh -huh. in the head. Okay. Uh, is, it, is it like the size of your hand? Yes, but it's really noisy. Okay. It's too small, but noisy. And is is she alone or does she have someone? I mean, no, alone. alone no, <laughs> maybe that. Okay. They no have partner. Okay, maybe that's why she's very noisy. Maybe I have to. In, she need a, a. How do you say a lover? <laughs> yeah, she needs to procreate. <laughs> too jealous <laughs> i think that don't want it yeah <laughs> maybe all kill right. him <laughs> all right <laughs> okay i yeah it's coming in yes it's coming in convenient ah convenient it's convenient, convenient. thanks francis um, Empresa de transporte, buses, futuro. Interesante. Hi, Santana. Jeb. Okay, fine. Did you finish talking? Yes, teacher. <laughs> I'm talking right. about everything. <laughs> oh, good, good. That's the idea, you know, when we finish talking about the topics that, are, that, that I give you guys, you guys are supposed to keep talking more. I mean, that's the yeah. idea. Okay. So let, let me get back to the main session. Okay. okay. Very complicated, but it is more the it's more psychology, I think, because I I think it's the the things are are easy or mm -hmm. complicated only if you want. But people think mm -hmm. that learn math is, um, it is complicated. But for me, English is too complicated. <laughs> for me too, but we can, we can learn. Yes. Let's do it, right, uh, Dicker? Right, right, that's why you're here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, did we you guys finish? All right, good. Let me get back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, were you able to finish doing the exercise? Yes. Yep. Yes. All right, so let me... See this here. Oh, Three point two. All right. Can you see the screen? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Give me a second. No. All right. Can you see it now? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, this is a listening exercise, but uh, we're not going to listen to the audio. I'm just going to be checking uh, the structures that you're going to use. So according to the audio on section 3.1, apartments are what? Are too small for pets. Okay. Number one. Are, 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 
Two small for pets. For pets. Okay, are too small for pets. What about the, the second one? Which, which is number, correct? Number three. number three, a farmers aren't comfortable enough for family. Okay, comfortable. Comfortable. Comfortable has three syllables. Comfortable. Yes, comfortable. 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 The, the second, the second O is quiet. So you say comfortable. 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 Yes. Oh, you will repeat, please, teacher. Sure. Comfortable. Com comfortable. 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 <laughs> Yes. The, the, the second O is quiet, so you say comfortable. Ah, okay, disappear the O in, in the, the second screen. O. The second O. Uh -huh. Comfortable. 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 Uh huh. What about number three? Okay. Which is correct? Apartment don't have privacy enough. Apartment don't enough privacy. Apart have privacy enough. Number two. Number two. Number two is correct. Apartments don't have, don't enough, have enough, enough privacy. Enough privacy. Uh huh. Respect. Uh huh. And number four, which is correct. Apartments don't have space enough. Apartments don't have enough space, or apartments have. Space enough. No, no, but number, two. Two. number two. Yes, apartments number don't two. have apartments. enough space. Enough I space. think our apartments are, are good if you are uh, with your husband or wife and maybe one kid. But some apartments are, are big. They are really big. They're expensive too. Even big Apartment than... don't have enough space. Yep. Um, so, like, like I was telling you, you know, there are different towers in 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 Colonia San uh, Escalón where apartments are very expensive. Yep. All right. Yeah. Um, even, uh, bigger my, than a house. My apartment is expensive, but it's it's very small. Okay. Oh. How, how many rooms does he have? Three. Three. Okay. Three, and and we live uh, uh, two children, uh -huh. three adults, two two dogs, and a cat. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and that is super, in La Unión. Super, no, in the Escalón. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. It's, uh, it's expensive, but it's small. Yeah. What what part of San Salvador? Me in the Escalón. Oh, in Escalón. Okay. Because the Escalón is really big. It's a big neighborhood. Ah, the neighborhood, yes, but my apartment is small. Okay. All right. Good. All right. Do we have any questions about this former exercise? Not. No. No. All right, so let me, um, where is this? Let me share, share, share. Okay, let me check this here. Are slower than cars. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put you to work in pairs last time. And uh, just do the comparative form according to uh, whether the adjective is short or long. So let me put okay. you back in. Uh, breakout rooms. Yes, breakout rooms, mm -hmm. doors, open rooms. Here we go.
Aileen. Can you hear me, Aileen? Yeah. Okay. Do you right. hear me now? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. Okay, thank you. What's your name again, mister? Hello, teacher. What's your name again? Pedro Castillo. Pedro. You're going to be working with Aileen, Pedro. Okay, yes, right. I have the... All right, the, good. My, my screen. All right. With ER so. in the end. Ah, okay, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. so, uh, right here. <laughs> and the number five, you can do it. Um, I think it's not here. Uh, for example, B is biggest. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the bigger, the better change. Bigger, bigger, no biggest. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, remember, when Explain you are, us. <laughs> sure. Uh, when you are, um, when you are comparing, when you're mentioning two things, you have to use the comparative form. If you're using three or more, then you use the superlative form. So in this case, you're mentioning elephants and bears. So that is the comparative form. Mm -hmm. okay. So you say houses are usually bigger than apartments. Bigger. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Yes. So you so can. So goal okay. is goal is expensive. 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 Uh -huh. Silver. No. Expensive. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let okay. me see this here. It's full screen. Okay, gold. Now, when you say expensive, how many syllables do you hear? Syllabus. Um, in, in, C, in what? Expensive. expensive. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. Expensive. Yes. Three. And? Three. See, uh, three. Three is correct. Yes, three. So uh -huh. if if the adjective has two syllables um, or more, Ad, you will have use to use more. Exactly. If the gold adjective, is more expensive. Yes, gold is more expensive than silver. Okay. okay. It's more expensive. Now, number four is slow. Hello. How many syllables do you hear in slow? One. One. So in that case, bikes slower. are slower than cars. Okay. Slower. Uh -huh. Yes. So if, if the adjective has only one syllable, you will put ER. If he has two syllables or more, you will have to say more. Is that clear? Yes, yes it is. All right, good. Okay. So, um... I am, I am, yeah, I think so. It's more interesting. You're right. Thank you. The next one is heavy. Heavy, heavy you say that it's like deep? What? You have an uh, exercise. What? We finished the exercise. Yeah, oh. we finished. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys finished? Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. Teacher, don't you let me alone. Where? You left me alone in the breakout room. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, Again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> but I practice by by myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's that's the idea. If you're trying to get a hold of me and I don't get back to you, you should start start uh, talking to yourself. Yes. <laughs> yep. 
Okay, uh, do you have any questions about this exercise? No. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yes, in, the, in the sentence 10, uh -huh. the tiger is heavy or more heavy? Heavier. 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 Yes. Heavier. Okay. Maybe yes. I have a question. Yes, ask me. When do you use uh, more? Because you're using the, the superlatives that like it's more and must. Uh huh. And where and when do you add only the er at the end of the? Okay, verb? good question. Um, when you're using uh short adjectives, short adjectives have have only one syllable, and mm -hmm. when you are comparing, you're supposed to use er, small, okay. smaller, big, bigger, fast, faster. Uh, and if you're using long adjectives, long adjectives have two syllables or more. Uh, if you're going to compare, you will have to use more. Like, okay. uh, more beautiful, more dangerous, more expensive. So you will have to divide them and classify them if the adjective has one syllable. To make the comparison, you add ER. Okay. If you're comparing long adjectives, then you're going to have to use more. And, and that's how you classify short and long adjectives. Okay. Is, is that clear? Yes. yes. All right. Teacher, yes. Teacher, yes. Uh, yes. Are, are there more examples example, like in good that use yes. better? <laughs> What is yeah, it? That those I guess. Are there more example like sure. in good that use better? Yes. Uh, they change the adjective. Oh, totally change. Yeah, those are the exceptions. You have good, bad, and far. Those are the three exceptions when you don't apply er or more, but when you compare and you use the superlative form, the word completely changes. Yes. But in the case of much or many? Okay. Now you're you're using countables and non-countables. I need many uh, more tables, let's say. Or you will say I need uh, fewer tables. So it all depends if you're using countables or non-countables. Okay. Yes. So we will continue with this tomorrow um, because this is not completely finished. So we're going to go uh, one by one to identify what the uh, what the answer is. Okay. All right. Okay. Teacher. So okay. thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you. Have teacher. a good night and get good some. Night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye. See you later. Bye.